Lauren with Just Vegan In, where in each episode we try to look at a different aspect of the vegan lifestyle and oh wow, this is going to be an exciting one because I'm taking you all on holiday with me to Barbados. So this is part one of my two part vegan travel vlog series in Barbados and I will be sharing with you some restaurants with great vegan options and also some activities that uh, I'm doing while I'm here and hey, if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe because believe me you do not want to be missing out on these holiday vibes <laughs> So one of the first places I wanted to share with you when you're in Barbados, it is this great restaurant called Cocktail Kitchen. They actually have their own vegan menu. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, I got this breadfruit dish as a starter. It was incredible. First of all, I have never had breadfruit before. It's something, it's a vegetable fruit that, <laughs> that grows here. And wow, it is so insanely good. And how they do it at Cocktail Kitchen, they have this wonderful sauce on it, lots of vegetables. I would highly recommend getting that. And I went for their vegan vegetable curry. And let me tell you, oh my gosh, the spices and herbs and everything that they use in the curries here in Barbados are simply incredible. So believe me, you are gonna to wanna to sink your teeth into both of these dishes. What I also loved about Cocktail Kitchen, the service was great. We had this amazing server named Omar who we just loved. And it's right in St. Lawrence's Gap, which has loads of bars and clubs. So it's a great spot to, you know, obviously go to Cocktail Kitchen for dinner. Oh yes, and they have happy hours starting at five. You don't wanna miss that. Um, and then you could go and check out some of the bars and clubs at St. Lawrence Gap. And it's right near the water, so you'll get a beautiful view. Definitely would highly recommend this place, like I said, because they have their own vegan menu. So mm -mm -mm. other things on the vegan menu are they have a few items from Beyond Burger or Beyond Meat. So yes, um, you're definitely gonna wanna probably try those as well. <laughs> When I'm on holiday, you know, I always like to recommend a few great activities to do because who knows, if you come here, you might want to do them too. So, wow, first one I highly, highly, highly recommend because you cannot go to Barbados and not see the sea turtles. I am so insanely impressed with the conservation efforts that the government goes to over here to like conserve sea turtles. We love that. I mean, if a lot of you are vegans like me, I became a vegan because of animal rights. So, hey conservation of the sea turtles we love it but i would highly recommend i did a snorkeling sea turtle and shipwreck tour now i did it with harbor lights so i would definitely recommend using them i had such a wonderful time we stopped at two different locations and one we did like snorkeling around a shipwreck because there are numerous shipwrecks now a lot of times they will shipwreck <laughs> boats in order to just create more places for like animal life to, to grow and thrive. So there's so many shipwrecks around this island. It's quite, it's quite incredible, but it's also very cool to snorkel and see. So I recommend doing that. And of course, you know, you got to see the sea turtles. We saw two on the tour, which obviously of course was a highlight and a true delight because they're just such majestic creatures. Another thing that you must do, because I believe Barbados is one of the only islands in the Caribbean with a submarine tour. What? So we did it with Atlantis Submarine and we ended up going down like 150 feet. It was just so incredible just seeing how it all works. Like, you know, just how the pilot navigates the submarine and also what we were able to see. So obviously the lower you go, you're not always seeing, you know, as much marine life, but we went to 150 feet, which was insanely cool. And then we went up to a reef, which had a shipwreck on it. And we got to see like numerous wonderful, you know, fish and it was obviously like flourishing there but the whole experience was definitely something I mean there's not many places in the world you get the opportunity to be in a submarine so hey when you're on Barbados you got to do it and it is a popular tour so maybe I mean make sure you pre-book boop 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 all right now you cannot come to Barbados and not go on a rum tour 
So we did ours with Mount Gay Rum. And if you do the submarine tour, it literally is like two minutes down the road to go to the Mount Gay Visitor Center. Wow, first of all, the woman who was our tour guide, so fun, So you could tell she was so enthusiastic about what she did, she was hilarious. It was just, and it was great to learn about rum, the different types, because I honestly didn't know a lot about it. So I would also, of course, I mean, you're, hey, you're in Barbados, you gotta do the rum. You'll be drinking lots of it, I'm sure, in the rum punches, this and that. And and taking a tour of it just gives you a greater appreciation of it. Sugar cane, which is one of the main ingredients in making rum, is their number one export here. So especially if you go more into the interior of Barbados, you will see sugar cane fields. And I heard it takes basically one year for sugar cane to sugar to like grow and to make and cultivate. So just, just an interesting fact for you. <laughs> but you gotta drink the rum when you're here. Let's be honest, it'd be rude not to. All right, now, hey, if you wanna get your party vibes on, obviously St. Lawrence Gap is great, but go to Harbor Lights. Now, it's dinner and a show. What is great there is for their vegan option, they have a Beyond Meat Patty, which I honestly, in this country, those Beyond Meat Patties are way bigger than what I get in the UK, so of course I loved it. And the nice thing about the Caribbean is a lot of the food, you know, there's rice and beans, there's vegetables, so, Kind of wherever you go here, there it, there are loads of vegan options. It is a very vegan friendly country because most places can kind of veganize anything. But Harbor Lights, honestly, the food was great. It's such good value for money because you're getting like a dinner show. You get all your drinks included. There was a lot of rum punches and um, rum and cokes that I drank that night. And it's a dinner show. They have people walking on stilts, they have fire dancing, they have the steel drums, they have like dancing, they get you up in to dance. So it is such, honestly, the vibes are just flowing in that place. I really had like the best night. I get it, it's a little bit touristy, but you know what, it has been around for years. I mean, but since before I was born for a reason because for the amount of money you pay, you get dinner, all your drinks included, and a dinner show, you get the dancing, and you pick up from your hotel. So it really, honestly, I just loved every moment. I was kind of smiling the whole time. And once again, the service was so great, friendly. Boom, boom, boom. Can't say enough good things about it. <laughs> Team, I also wanted to share with you where I'm staying because hey, it's good to have a good hotel recommendation if you're coming to Barbados. And I loved, Oh my gosh, every moment. I really loved where we're staying and that's Bougainvillea. And it is a small boutique hotel. They have a restaurant called Calabash, which is like just right on, on the beach. And even if you're not staying here, you could still of course come to the restaurant. Food, so, so insanely good. I had a vegetable curry the first night I was here and then I did this like tofu vegan bowl that they had, which the food here is just so fresh, fresh, fresh in that in that bowl that I had. They had like wonderful avocado and just like a lovely sauce on it. Mm, just simply delightful, but really the food at Calabash is really, really good. What I also love about this hotel is as part, you know, as part of the price of staying here, you could get kayaks, paddle boards, boogie boards, all for free. So I went kayaking one day and guess what I saw? A sea turtle! <laughs> Oh my goodness. But this place, it is a slice of paradise in heaven and I really have been enjoying staying here. And the staff is insanely just so, so friendly. Actually, everyone in Barbados, like they, the vibe is so chill. Everyone is just so friendly and they just, they love their country. They are so enthusiastic about it. Like it is one of the most relaxing places I have ever been. and. Some of you might know, some of you might not. I am an insomniac, and so a lot of times, obviously, I have difficulty sleeping. I have slept so well every single night here. I've not worried about a thing. There has been no stress, and you know, sometimes, because I'm a performer, and you know, like sometimes my mind is always going. Honestly, I have never been this relaxed in my life. So Barbados, I'm just gonna also say like thank you for that, Bougainvillea. Thank you also for that for creating a wonderful space. And oh, anyway. As you could tell, I'm loving Barbados. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, everyone. So that is part one of my two part travel series to Barbados. I hope you all enjoyed. Please, hey, if you've been here before, please feel free to leave some, some
something in the comments because I'd like to hear your thoughts or if there's cool activities or restaurants that you'd like to recommend, please leave them down there because I don't think this is going to be my last time here. Um, so, hey, sharing is caring. And I hope you all are doing well. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Just Vegan In and follow me on Instagram at just vegan in and please check out next week because i got more fun things to do see and eat in barbados <laughs>